Hey guys, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Alex, coming back at you with another CDHF talk. Today's topic is GERD and Barrett's esophagus. You most likely have experienced common symptoms such as pain in the chest, acid reflux, a cough, or a sore throat. But if any of these issues become chronic, they could be symptoms of GERD. And with prolonged, uncontrolled GERD, you have the risk of developing Barrett's esophagus. What's GERD, you ask? Gastroesophageal reflux disease. So we're here today with Dr. Gail Darling and Dr. Jeff Mosco to talk about all things GERD, its relationship to Barrett's esophagus, the benefits of getting screened early, treatment options, as well as advocating for your own health. So let's get to it. My name is Jeff Mosco. I'm a gastroenterologist and therapeutic endoscopist here at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. My name is uh, Gail Darling. I'm a professor of thoracic surgery at University Health Network and the Crest Family Chair in Esophageal Cancer at University Health Network and uh, the University of Toronto. So GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease, is a common condition affecting uh, a very high number of patients. One of the most common uh, things that patients present with, both to their family doctor and to a gastroenterologist. most common symptoms of GERD are acid reflux and heartburn. Uh, so acid reflux really just refers to acid coming back up into the esophagus or the swallowing tube. Uh, and patients usually feel burning in their chest, um, which causes, can cause significant discomfort. Uh, they can also feel regurgitation, so food coming up from the stomach uh, into the back of the throat. In addition to these symptoms, they can also get chronic cough, uh, or laryngitis, uh, or sore throat, or even asthma um, uh, as a result. So people that have a severe GERD, and by that I mean daily heartburn uh, over many years, can develop Barrett's esophagus. Not everybody who has severe GERD will develop Barrett's esophagus but the reflux of acid causes inflammation in the lower esophagus. And the body uh, kind of tries to protect itself by changing the lining of the esophagus from its normal squamous lining, which is very sensitive to acid, to what's called a columnar lining, which is not sensitive to acid. So that is a bit of the problem because if you have normal squamous lining, you'll feel the heartburn, you'll feel the acid, and you'll say, I'm having heartburn. But a lot of people with Barrett's actually don't know they have Barrett's, and they don't complain about heartburn because the lining of their esophagus has changed and it's no longer sensitive to the acid. So that's a problem. How do you figure out who has Barrett's? In addition, we know that there are other risk factors for the development of Barrett's esophagus. Uh, male gender is one. Patients who are Caucasian, uh, again, those we said that those who have had GERD, they, they are GERD for more than five years, uh, and then those with uh, uh, central obesity as well, uh, in addition to age greater than 50, uh, history of smoking and or first degree relative affected. If I was, uh, had a, a patient who was coming to me and complaining of heartburn, um, chronic heartburn, the, and these are the people that keep the, you know, the Rolaids or the Tums in their pocket and they're always popping popping uh, Tums, you know, I would say, first of all, they probably need a better acid suppressing, suppressing regimen. Uh, and I would, I would suggest they speak to their physician about considering a, a gastroscopy, at least one to assess if there's any damage in their esophagus from their heartburn. Endoscopy is a procedure that we do usually either in the hospital or in an ambulatory clinic where we put a camera in through your mouth down into your stomach. Now don't be alarmed, you will be sleeping or partially asleep during this procedure. Um, and we look around both in the small intestine, the stomach, and into the esophagus uh, where we can look for uh, multiple different things including uh, inflammation caused by acid reflux uh, as well as Barrett's esophagus. Thank you.